Hello my spooky friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys all of my tips and tricks on how to make the most amazing Halloween costume as well as giving you some really fun, easy, thrifted Halloween costume ideas. Whew, that intro was a mouthful. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kaz. We do lots of fun stuff here, DIYs, mask making, Disney stuff, thrifting hauls, all those good things. So if you're interested in any of that or kind of like fun creative stuff, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my next videos. But yes, today I'm gonna be giving you guys all of my tips and tricks, how to create the best possible Halloween costume. I'm so excited. You know, this has been a highly requested video. People have been asking me to kind of break down a lot of different Halloween costumes. So I figured it would be a good idea to both break down some costumes for you guys to kind of identify certain pieces, how I would personally put it together. But also I want to kind of go through um, the things that I look for in creating a good Halloween costume, what I think makes a good idea for a Halloween costume, and also just kind of some of the tricks that I've learned in order to make sure that the costume looks really good. So without further ado, let's get into this video with my handy dandy notebook. Oh, Blue's Clues, the simpler time. Halloween costume tip number one. When you are first deciding what it is that you want to be for Halloween, you'll notice that there are some years where people are kind of always the same thing. I'm looking at you, Harley Quinn. I'm looking at you. And why is that? Well, it's because that costume is in the forefront of everyone's mind because a, a movie came out or it's you know, um, an anniversary of something. Hocus Pocus is like super big right now, even though this movie came out a bajillion years ago, but it's very much a classic Halloween film. So when there are costumes that people are doing over and over again, it's, it's not my favorite thing to do because you're not gonna stand out. I love a unique, smart, sometimes funny, you know, cool Halloween costume. So my number one tip is that you should look to things from the past, not things that are recently out. Like if you think a couple years ago, everyone was Stranger Things for Halloween. Everyone was 11. Like, yes, it's an awesome costume, but it's not really that interesting if everyone is doing it. Does that make sense? So you can look back as far as your childhood because you'll see, and this is something that I've really begun to understand with the type of content that I create is when you touch people in this like, deep place that they didn't know they still had memories from, things from our childhood, like that stuff is what really, really brings joy to people. So I suggest going back to some of your favorite movies from whenever it was that um, you were in your youth, eight years old and up. So for me, you know, when I did Holes on TikTok, it had a huge response because for some reason, that film just like stuck in the consciousness of everyone who's like 25 to 30 years old, you know? Like that was a film that we watched when we were young and the messaging of it just stuck with us. So I highly recommend going back thinking, so a great example is something like Holes, right? Is something like um, TV shows on Nickelodeon. So you have Fairy Odd Parents, you have Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, you have all this great kind of cartoon and movie stuff that you can like dive into and find something that is really gonna like stand apart um, in the year 2020. Tip number two for Halloween costumes. So if you do want to go with someone who's you know more obvious, more done as a costume, my number one tip for that is you should try to find a lesser known version of their outfits, right? So there are you know, certain iconic outfits that characters wear, but a lot of times in films, there's also other outfits that they wear or you know, in TV shows, what have you. So it's much more interesting to do something that we don't automatically go, oh yeah, I've seen that. But when we see the character in a new light, we're like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So for example, I just did Elastigirl, but instead of doing her Incredibles red outfit, I wanted to do her original outfit that we only see briefly in the beginning of the first film because A, I love that outfit, I think it's amazing, and B, it just is a new way of looking at her, it's more interesting, um, it tells a slightly different story, right? So that's a great way to do it. Another example is when I was Harry Potter at the Wizarding World, 
Um, instead of dressing, you know, in his school uniform like you'd expect to see people do a costume of him, I actually dressed in the outfit that he wore when he was first going to Diagon Alley, and my brother dressed as Hagrid. So we walked around Diagon Alley as Harry Potter and Hagrid. And it was amazing. You know, and it's like those sorts of things that like, you're recreating almost like iconic moments as well. So I just think it's a really good idea to kind of try to think outside of the box to different looks that these characters wear. Okay, tip number three. Now this gets a little bit more complicated, but if you're interested, you know, I think you can totally do it. It's not that hard. A great idea is to take one character and another character and do a mash up. And it doesn't even necessarily need to be too... Here goes the garbage truck. <sighs> ah, where was I? Yes, mashups. So what you can do is take one character and either another character or another um, movie or place or idea and kind of put them together to create this new costume, right? An example of this is when I took Ariel and reimagined her as Rose from Titanic. And I had this pink dress that was very reminiscent of Rose's dress, but I thought it was the exact same color as Ariel's pink dress. And I just kinda merged the two together. Did a little Photoshop, imagining Prince Eric and the clouds. <laughs> you know, and um, people really resonated with that because when you're taking something that we've seen a million times and giving it a twist, it makes it new to us again. And so it just has more of a punch and it's super awesome. Like I said, this is definitely a more complex idea. There is no pressure to do this, but if you wanna kinda try to create something new and truly unique, this is a great way to do that while still utilizing pretty iconic characters. So another example is taking Disney characters and sorting them into Hogwarts houses, right? We're taking one thing and putting it together with another giant pop culture thing. And that just makes people happy because they like to see things that they love being put together. Tip number four. Okay, this one <laughs> is for the brave of heart, but do ridiculous things. I cannot stress this enough. When you do something ridiculous, it just is always awesome. It just is. You can't go wrong. I, I, it is just the commitment, the, the bravery, it just makes people happy. And I know a lot of people like probably don't want to look stupid, but if you are okay looking stupid, this is a, gonna be, you have so many opportunities to create amazing costumes that people will remember for a long time. I just did Marty Wolf from Big Fat Liar and I painted myself blue. <laughs> I put on a hat, I painted, you know, bright orange facial hair. And was this my most attractive look? Yes. No, no, of course not. I look ridiculous, but it was awesome because I committed fully to it and I looked ridiculous. So if you can be okay looking ridiculous, you have so many options, you know? You can pick basically from anything and it's gonna be great because it's all about you, you know, owning it. And those are my favorite costumes, the ones that are just completely ridiculous but bring so much happiness to those who see them. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of transition from how to pick the best costume for yourself to just basically tips for putting together these costumes. So number one, thrifted or put together pieces is always gonna look better than a costume that you buy in a bag at Party City or Spirit Halloween. No shade to them, they provide a service, like they're okay for props, I have bought certain things there, but it just is crazy that they charge $80 for some sheer fabric that like looks like trash. I, I, it is crazy to me. If you want to order a costume that's already like, you know, put together and made for you, that's very specific, order from a cosplay website. Like they have so many options and there's so many different levels of price range. Like I bought a costume last year from a cosplay website to be Starfire and that looked really great. It was only $60 and I had all the pieces that was accurate. I decided to order it because it was gonna be very difficult to put together with the amount of sewing skills that I have. And um, I just thought that it would make my life easier. It did, it looked great. Um, and so that's my offer to you is you should go to a cosplay website. I'm gonna list a couple in the description that are really good. 
I think I got mine from Easy Cosplay. So like I said, there's different, you know, price ranges and it depends on also on what type of costume you're doing, but they have a lot of Halloween costumes that are like awesome. So um, if you are doing something that's more recognizable, I highly recommend you check out a cosplay website instead of purchasing from Spirit or just nothing in a bag, please. Nothing in the plastic bag, the little, if you find a cheapy Halloween costume at Goodwill for $5, buy that. Go ahead and buy it. That is awesome. I have tons of those, you know, but I'm not going to spend $70 on a cheap piece of fabric. I'm just not going to do that. Also, they never like actually make things very accurate. Um, all of the ones that are just like, here's a sexy version of Snow White. It's like, even if I was doing sexy Snow White, I want to do it like that. I would do it more in a classic pinup style. Why is all of these dresses look like the St. Pauli girl? Anyways, I won't go on this rant because I really could. I really, really could. I'm just realizing now that my hair is purple and in this hairstyle that I look like the girl that turns into a guinea pig in Sky High. Okay, so now you're thinking, okay, what if I don't want to order something from a cosplay website or this outfit I'm trying to make doesn't exist on a cosplay website? Exactly. Let me help you figure out how to thrift that. So when you're looking at this outfit, I want you to identify the structure of these pieces. So I'm going to give you an example right now. So... We have Chip Skylark from Fairly Odd Parents, My Shiny Teeth and Me. If we look at his outfit here, we're gonna notice kind of the things that make him an identifiable character, right? So he's got a red beanie. We can even see the shape of it, how it has that little fold up at the top. We see he's got the goatee and the spiky black hair. He's wearing very specifically a zip up red hoodie. Don't get that twisted with a pullover red hoodie. And he's got these wide legged jeans, which makes me think of like the whole NSYNC style, right? Um, of like a baggy pair of blue jeans and then white sneakers. So once we can break down a costume like that, it's very simple. Um, so there are certain pieces that you're gonna be able to find at a thrift store. This is a great example. You could find all these pieces at a thrift store. You just have to look, right? So what I want you to do before you go in, I want you to take pictures of the outfit that you're trying to put together. I want you to identify the individual pieces and put them on a list. And that way, when you go into the thrift store, you know exactly what you're looking for. You're not gonna feel overwhelmed and you can go and look directly in those categories. Now, don't just look in women's, you can also look in men's. You can find basically what you need in any, I've even bought things in the children's section, I will tell you. I'm also a petite woman, so that <laughs> helps me in the situation. But if you are willing to put in a little bit of effort thrifting, you can put together an entire Halloween costume that's amazing for like 20 bucks. Like, that's what I'm talking about. And it's gonna look way better than something from a plastic bag. Okay, so now let's talk about if you have a costume that's a little bit more complicated than Chip Skylark. How about Misty from Pokemon, okay? This is a very easy costume as well, right? But it's recognizable and I think it's really cute. So you're gonna need those blue jean shorts. They even have a specific style where the cuff is a little bit rolled. Um, you can do those high-waisted, you can do low-waisted, whatever you prefer. You're gonna need red suspenders, the cropped yellow tank top t-shirt style, and then you have her hair. So what's the most difficult part of this costume? It's definitely gonna be the hair and the suspenders. Now I have found suspenders at a Goodwill before, but that's definitely not a guarantee when you walk into Goodwill. You can easily thrift those shorts. You can easily thrift that shirt. You can even take a yellow t-shirt because you see it's kind of a little bit looser and just cut off the sleeves, flip it inside out, whatever you need to do. You can very much easily create the bones of this costume. Now, when we have something like suspenders and this kind of crazy hairstyle, what I suggest is you go to Amazon or you go to a place like Party City. Not for the wig. Do not buy a Party City wig. I will find you. They're so overpriced and they're just crap. Promise me, if you take one thing from this video, you will not buy your wig at Party City. I'm so sorry, Party City, if I'm taking away from your business, but you should not be selling those, they're terrible. But the suspenders, you could easily find at Party City for a cheap price. They have bow ties and suspenders all over the place. Now for wigs, I do suggest Amazon. I suggest any of the cosplay wig stores online. Personally, I use Amazon a lot. I know I shouldn't, evil, but I also need my wigs. You want to look for a cosplay wig. You just do. There's also like 
the, the wigs have become so good. Like there's so many good wigs that you can buy for a really decent price. Like one of my favorite wigs of all time, my like ombre rainbow wig was literally $10. What? Because it's the wigs that you find at like the party stores and at Spirit Halloween are like made of such cheap synthetic fibers. It just looks like trash. And you can buy synthetic wigs that don't look like trash. They're all over Amazon. So um, I'm gonna also link down below. I have like a little bit of like a Amazon list that I have together of wigs that I like. So you can go ahead and check those out. So to reiterate, when you're thrifting a costume, identify the pieces that can be thrifted, identify the shapes, identify the colors, always keep pictures with you and a list on your phone when you're going into the thrift store, and then identify the pieces that you will not be able to thrift, and then you can try to find specifically what they are by ordering online, or then you can go to Spirit Halloween or Party City for accessories, but do not buy their costumes. I'm sorry, if you want to buy a costume in a bag for $80, please go ahead. Just watch, I'm gonna like want to work with Spirit Halloween in the future and they're gonna be like, no, because he did this video. I like Spirit Halloween. I just spent a bunch of money there, you saw me. Okay, so I actually have a couple of costumes that people requested that I break down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that as well as give you guys a bunch of other costume ideas as well. So first off, we're gonna start with Trixie Tang from the Fairly Odd Parents, which is so cute. So um, Janelle wants to do this for Halloween, and it's so funny because Trixie was actually originally on my 31 Days of Halloween costumes list. I've actually done her before um, in more of like a kind of bound way in my Fairly Odd Parents TikTok, but she has a really cute, really simple costume that is gonna look amazing. And again, it's a great choice because you're referencing um, a TV show that we all watched when we were kids. So it hits people in a very nostalgic spot, and I think it's gonna be great and totally recognizable. It's even better if you have someone to be your Timmy Turner or um, her best friend Veronica is super cute. So let's look at Trixie's outfit here. So um, if you want to, you can always put on a black wig. So again, if you don't wanna wear wigs, I don't think you necessarily have to. I do think it steps up the costume and makes it more recognizable. You can always choose a character that has the same hair color as you though, and that's gonna make it a lot easier for you as well. So Janelle does have black hair, so she's not gonna need a wig. You see here, she has a headband, so we definitely wanna find a headband for that. She's got this big, kind of like chunky purple sweater, white skirt, and white go-go boots. So very simple, everything can be found, can be thrifted 100%. Go-go boots are probably gonna be the most difficult item to find here, but you can order those on Amazon, you can find them on Spirit. You can use really any white skirt. Again, you can look at the silhouettes that are here if you're trying to get really specific, or you can kind of like try to cute it up a little bit. So when I did Trixie, um, and this was again more of a bound look, I did this cropped little purple sweater because it was the right color, even though it is a different style, but it still was really cute and recognizable. So you can even find, you know, you don't have to be exact, exact. So especially if you're trying to make something a little bit more like Halloween cute, or like you're trying to do it sexy as they say, go ahead, wear a crop sweater. And so even though I think that it looks like she's wearing more of an oversized sweater in the cartoon, um, I definitely think that like you can get away with a tight fitting turtleneck here. So um, turtleneck I'd say would be the best sweater choice, top choice. I think that really looks like what her sweater is because it has this kind of weird neck thing at the top. I don't think it has to be super chunky, um, but if you can do a light lavender turtleneck sweater, it's gonna be perfect. Headband wise, it's pretty wide, so I would suggest probably a fabric headband. I think that's actually gonna give you the shape that you want more than a plasticky headband, or if you can find like an extra wide purple headband, if that and the sweater can match exactly, that would be amazing. Not 100% necessary, but needs to be at least, again, in the same lavender family. So the next requested costume was Black Widow. So let's take a look at what she's wearing. So obviously the biggest item of clothing here is gonna be the black cat suit. So I would say there's a couple of ways you could do this. Um, a, you can order a full bodysuit. So because of the way that like fashion has gone, if you look at like certain rave wear or club wear, you can actually find like black cat suits that are gonna be pretty flattering and um, would be perfect for this type of look. 
So you can always order that. You can always go to a cosplay website and order just a simple black cat suit as well. That is probably gonna cost you a little bit more money. It's cheaper just to go on Amazon and find a full length, you know, black bodysuit. Now again, if you can't find like a full on long black bodysuit that you like, you can always just buy a regular bodysuit, long sleeve with a zip up and then pair that with some like leather looking black leggings. Because you're gonna be putting a belt on this costume anyways, I don't think it's the most important thing that it's one piece. So if you're just pairing a bodysuit with black leggings, you can add the belt right on top where the two pieces meet and it won't be so obvious that it's a two piece ensemble. Alternatively, if you cannot find a black bodysuit, which you can either buy online or you can find that at the thrift store, black bodysuit and leggings you could definitely find. You could always use like a workout jacket, you know, because a lot of them are gonna zip all the way up. They're gonna be tight fitting. They've got maybe even like holes for your fingers. Like I think that would be a great look as well. And we'll totally get across the aesthetic of Black Widow and what her bodysuit is. And that's definitely gonna be a cheaper way to do that. So the most iconic part of her outfit, I think, is the belt. So if you could find a way to order the belt, um, she also has these like hip, hip holsters. Yeah, we'll call them hip holsters. <laughs> Which um, is definitely something that you could buy at a Halloween costume store, at Party City, at Amazon, you can just search specific you know parts of the costume that's definitely how i would do it i think you'd be okay with just any sort of black buckle belt on the front and then you can kind of create if you want the symbol out of um some foam so this is what i'll often do when there are kind of like iconic symbols on costumes but i don't want to pay for it um I would go and I would cut it out of foam um, and kind of make it and then attach it to something with either hot glue or you can use super glue or if you want to be able to remove it, you can actually buy sticky foam, which is awesome. Um, I use this a lot, especially when doing um, kind of very quick costumes that I want to take apart um, for different TikToks. So you can just stick that on there and you're going to be able to have the right, you know, looking symbol without having really spent more than a couple of dollars on it, which is awesome. Wig wise, I definitely suggest you buy a wig from Amazon or just not Party City again. So it's a short kind of curled red look. Um, that's her look in the movies. It depends on if you want to go for more of a movie look or a comic book look. I actually really like her outfit in the comic books. This really cool um, gold belt with all the different circles on it. It's very iconic. So that you could easily make out of foam as well. Um, you can get a bunch of foam, string it together, stick it on there. And I think that that would also look super bomb. So those are my couple of suggestions. There's definitely different ways that you can put this together. Um, and then always throw on a pair of like amazing black boots and you've got your Black Widow costume right there. So now I'm just gonna go down a list of a bunch of different ideas and tell you why I think that they're good Halloween costume ideas. So my first idea here is to be all the Disney princes with your friends. So we see very often people do Disney princesses. Obviously we love princesses, we love to be them, amazing. But it's definitely more interesting to do the Disney princes and I think that they actually have really easy costumes as well. If you look at Prince Eric, he's got like three pieces to this costume. You need a red belt, a white shirt, and blue jeans. Like how simple. If you want to, you can throw on a pair of black boots. I don't know what girl doesn't have a pair of black boots. Boom, there you go. Costume done. I'm gonna give you some more group costume ideas. First one is My Little Pony. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the whole brony phase of that, but it's actually a really fun group costume because all of the ponies have very specific color seams and aesthetics, and, and they're really kind of like things that you can decide how you want to style. Like you have a lot that you can do with this idea, right? So you can all do like cute vintage dresses. I do highly recommend that you look at the symbol on the hip of every pony, identify it, and then add that to the costume. So if I was doing Rarity, I would do, well, I guess I have purple hair now, but her hair is a little bit more purple, so I probably would put on a purple wig. I would wear a white dress, because that's the color of her mane, and then 
her cute little um, three diamonds. I would make that out of a sparkly foam and then just stick it right on my hip, on my dress. And I feel like this is a super fun costume that's actually really, really easy and you can be super creative with, with your group of friends. Next is Winx Club, which I'm obsessed with. I've been trying to get people to do this costume with me for years. I just don't have enough people willing to do it. Come on. So Winx Club was a TV show back in the early 2000s, of course. Um, where they were all fairies, but they all have very, you know, specific color schemes and aesthetics. It's also a good costume idea for a diverse group of friends. Um, there's a lot of representation in that show, which is awesome. So I highly recommend that. Um, all these costumes, I think that you can kind of put together um, through using like rave wear because they wear a lot of like sparkly sequin things, um, shorts, and like it's very much got that early 2000s style um, while still being kind of like superhero-ish, which I think is super duper cool. Next is the Hex Girls from Scooby-Doo, which I am planning on doing this year, something that I wanted to do for a long time, but they're a great example of like iconic characters from an iconic series, but lesser thought about, lesser known, but still known enough that we know who they are, if that makes sense. Next, I mean, you probably already are thinking about this, but holes, so this got such a great response and it's so easy to do. All you need is an orange jumpsuit for Stanley, get a little curly, curly wig going on, red hat and a shovel. But for most of the characters, just identify kind of the items that make him recognizable. Like X-Ray's got his glasses, any of them, give him a shovel. This is a great group costume. Like you're gonna make somebody's day. Next, we're gonna look at some of the OG Disney Channel original movies. Cadet Kelly is a great option, especially if you want something to do with your best friend. Like, yes, amazing, we love it. There's Xenon, which is great. Another good duo costume. But basically any movie from that time period of Disney Channel original movies, I think is gonna be a good idea. Even Steven's movie, like, that would be amazing. You could do the Proud Family. Like there's so many options there. Other childhood favorites, Pokemon. And you can be any of the Pokemon. So this is another great one if you're super creative. And it also could be a good, a good um, group costume or a good couple costume. You know, someone can be Ash, someone can be Pikachu. For looking at villainous things, um, obviously Disney villains are iconic doing makeup looks associated with these villains. I love seeing really cool like scar makeups. Hades is a great one, paint yourself blue. Maleficent, you know, there is just a different kind of, um, I don't know, feeling associated with these. I don't feel like they get overplayed out. Um, I also think with something like Maleficent, it's more interesting to do her like original outfit in the original movie as opposed to Maleficent with Angelina Jolie, you know what I'm saying? So if you wanna see more Halloween costume ideas, I am doing 31 days of Halloween costumes, both on Instagram at Kaz, the Queen of Glitter, and on TikTok at the Queen of Glitter. So if you wanna check those out, please, Please be my guest. Get some more Halloween costume ideas through that. You can see all the ones that I've done so far. But I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, if you end up using any of these ideas, I would love, love, love to see how they turned out. So please tag me in your photos and videos on TikTok or on Instagram. I really, really want to see. That is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. But until then, stay spooky. Bye-bye.